everyone. It's Cheryl. I'm back again with another haul. Um, when I was at Home Goods and Marshalls the other night, I saw a mirror that I thought I might like. For some reason, I, I knew I liked it. For some reason, I picked it up, I started talking to my aunt, and then I just put it back, and I got home and was like, Are you serious? You forgot the mirror, silly. So, um, I was talking to my aunt, and she's like, After I get out of work, I'll come pick you up. And it was all the way in, in Lincoln, I think. And, um, yeah, in Lincoln. So, I live in Cranston. She lives in Woonsocket, but she works in Johnston. So, it was a big circle. My aunt was very kind enough to come pick me up and take me to Lincoln. And then she's going to bring me back to Cranston and drive all the way back to Woonsocket. So, it was very nice. And, um, yeah, so, while we were there, we thought it was at Marshall's, but it was at Home Goods. So, while I was in the little plaza there, because it's a plaza has like 20 or 30 different stores maybe more and um so we went into Marshall's first and I'll show you what I got there I only got two little teeny items so you can see in here yeah so here's what I got two Marc Jacobs high shine lacquers so nail polish these retail for $18 on Sephora, Macy's, and all the other websites that sell Marc Jacobs. I checked uh, when I got home. So I picked up these two colors. This is like a brown, goldy, kind of like rose gold, brown, and gold kind of color. Kind of a full color. So I figured I'd grab this. Maybe I'll wear this to the concert Saturday night. If not, it's nice to wear on your toes. So, I picked up this one, and it's called Lee Charm 112. Marc Jacobs Nail Polish, $18 at Sephora. I got it on clearance for 2 bucks. That store didn't have a lot of name brand makeup. They had a lot of e.l.f. stuff, but I did find these. They didn't have any um, other like makeup brands like NARS, Too Faced. They didn't have any of that stuff. But they had these, and these were $2 from $18 retail. I can't get the sticker off, or I'd show you what they originally retailed at Marshall's for, but it was a second markdown. As you can tell, there's two tags, and then the original tag. And then this one's Surrender Dorothy, two twelve. On top of this box, people were just trying the different color nail polishes out on that one. I don't care. I'm not going to save the box anyway. And then this one I thought would be beautiful. For Christmas, it's a nice glitter red nail polish, and also two bucks. So I thought even if these, like a lot of the MAC nail polishes, kind of suck. So even if these kind of suck, they're only two bucks, and that's the price of like a drugstore nail polish. And so I figured, yeah, and you can't get it off. It's like the Butter London ones. You got to pop the cap off. This is my weak hand, so I'm having issues. And then it just has a little screw top, just like the Butter London. So I figured for two bucks, you can't beat that. So I picked up those two. And that's the only thing. I didn't buy any clothes. I didn't buy any socks. I didn't buy anything there. So it just came to four twenty-eight for those two. And then in between the Home Goods and the, T the Marshalls, not TJ Maxx, the is a five below and we were walking by and I knew I wanted to get something for Lammy for uh, for him for Halloween and they had a big display of the TYs in the window and I used to buy the TYs for my daughter at like the drug stores or um, Hallmark store all the time when she was younger so I figured I'd pick up this one for him um, we had we were choosing between they had a orange a black and orange mummy and this one and they both had like the big green eyes and I just thought it was so cute I told my aunt you pick because I thought it was so cute so we picked up this one for him and the little bag is actually a little bag I was thinking of putting maybe some money in there because he's too little to buy him candy or anything like that the little puffy Gerber treats he's still too small for that so this one's just called Seeker and it says my birthday is October 25th so I thought that was cute and that was only as always at five below Five dollars or below. He was four ninety nine with tax. Came to five thirty four. So that's for my Lammy. And then this is the mirror that I bought. It has. I like that it has the um 
the little things that stick out like the frame around the mirror and it has the um, beveled edge all the way around and it's the Lux brand and it, I took the clearance sticker off that's why it's kind of messed up but it originally sold for $49.99 and I bought it for $35 with tax it was $37 and change you can't beat that I wish they had had more of these I would have bought more of them because I would have liked to have put some of these in my bedroom um, this one's going in the bathroom so I just thought it was really really pretty and it says it's a handmade mirror and I like that this is a rectangle because you can hang it as it says vertically or horizontally this one's going to be hung horizontally so that's what I picked up today on my shopping excursion um, I don't I don't know I'll probably have um, I erased a big giant um, haul I had done for the Dollar Tree with some DIY projects that I had done so I don't know if I will rehaul that um, some of the stuff I think I've already used and like I said I did DIYs with and stuff so and then I accidentally erased the DIYs so I don't know if I'm gonna re-upload that well upload it redo it um, I do believe I'm going tomorrow to the dollar zone to get some haunty spooky kind of decorations not for my house for my daughter's house uh, she just throws everything away mostly every year and then just buys all new and my granddaughter said she wants she's an October baby she said mommy got more like baby friendly happy uh, Halloween stuff and she wants more of the spooky scary kind of stuff so I said all right I'll go on to dollar zone and get some of the spooky stuff they had a bunch of different stuff hanging in the window and stuff so if you'd like to see that just let me know yeah so we'll be going to the concert this weekend today it was really cold out and it hasn't been so definitely October over here <laughs> all right thank you for listening to me ramble on I hope you enjoyed my haul check out Marshall's TJ Maxx for like I said Mark Jacobs I never seem to find any of the like Urban Decay or Too Faced stuff or anything in my area but hey it's always a hunt you never know what you're going to find at those stores alright thank you for watching I'll talk to y'all later ciao